All right, guys, we can modder here with a quick one for you today. Uh, I am here with an update on the Pico Flasher and a new little 4 gig uh, QSB to help make reading and writing 4 gig consoles just a little bit easier. So um, the first thing that I want to call your attention to here real quick is actually uh, the Pico Flasher repository has moved. It's now under the X360 repo. The old links will still redirect you there and stuff, so you're good to go. But the Pico Flasher has recently, uh, as of 13 days ago, had a 3.0 release. And under that releases page, you can see it adds EMMC read and write support. So you can now do 16, 256, 512 NANs all via SPI. And you can also do 4 gig Corona NANs. That makes the Pico Flasher potentially a, a all-in-one Xbox read and write NAND solution here. So um, do check that out. Uh, the link to the GitHub will be in the description. And uh, just as before, um, check out the different ways that you can sponsor. Uh, Balika, the guy who's doing this, is doing it totally free. He publishes this stuff open source. If you find it useful, it saves you a few bucks. Um, shoot him some money, man. Uh, support the, the open source community. I think it's awesome. Um, so I'm going to get right to the nitty gritty of demoing some of that to you here. So this is a 4 gig Corona console, and you can see I've got the QSB and some wiring. I will talk about that in a second. But the first thing I want to do real quick is just prove to you that this is an, indeed a functional RGH3 console. So no glitch chip. I hit the power button here. You're going to see a boot indication, and then uh, I don't have a great capture setup going right now, so we'll just tilt that thing up and you'll be able to see this will actually boot into freestyle dashboard um, thereby kind of proving this is a free boot RGH console so there you go freestyle booting right up um, so what is up with this console so this thing is a 4 gig Corona that I've installed and then modded um, using both of the things I'm talking to you about today here so let's get down up in there so the, the first thing is this uh, QSB board that you see here. This little QSB board is pretty awesome. Uh, our good friend, and I can say that now because I spent quite a while chatting with him, Merlin Shaw uh, has actually published and made this available open source as well. So uh, let's see. This uh, repo link will be in the uh, video description as well. And these are the Gerber files that you need to upload to have this thing produced. Um, Merlin was very inspired by Element, aka Mod Shop, and pay some homage to him there. But this is the really cool little product. So, you know, those tiny little 4 gig. Uh, pads that you have to solder to can be difficult especially if you're gonna connect and disconnect and and what this really is is just a little breakout quick solder board QSB right so any of the pins that are useful for reading and writing the NAND have basically just been pulled over here to these larger pads to make it really easy it's got a couple of logos and stuff on here and uh, Merlin runs an awesome page over on Facebook called Geek Island Gaming uh, give that guy a, a, a check out if you get the opportunity. He's got a lot of other neat extra projects going on. I just found out about this one today. He's building this little USB to SATA adapter and stuff. So um, lots of neat things going on on this page and shared and whatnot. So give, uh, give Geek Island Gaming on Facebook a check out if you're interested in that. So back to the uh, the camera here right you can see all I've done is just installed that right over the the standard four gig pads and then I've got these little breakouts which I have actually soldered to um, this little DuPont cable that I happen to have laying around and the reason I did that is because I want to show you guys uh, back up on the screen the four gig diagram for using the Pico flasher so if you check out, uh, I'll show you at the top, the miscellaneous drop down on weekendmodder.com and you go to Pico Flasher Info, that's the page that we're on right here. And all the way at the very bottom of the page is the wiring diagram for reading and writing the Corona 4 gig NANs, right? 
So there was an error on this. Thank you to the two people who caught that and helped me get this corrected. I've verified today that it's correct and, and prevented this from having any sort of reversion again. But um, you really only need one, two, three, four, five, six wires in order to do this. And you don't have to do any of that messing with soldering to the side of the crystal thing. As I understand it, it leverages this... Uh, uh, MMC RST this connection over here which is actually the same one used when you're doing uh, like a 16 megabyte Corona um, it uses this to hold open the EMMC rather than you know doing the, the the trick with the crystal so there's one two three four five pads on that side that are necessary and that's why you may have noticed that in my installation um, I have not used every pad that's available on that quick solder board, right? So you can see that uh, these ones that are indicated with color and the pad number that's on there, I didn't actually use. So all we need to do uh, to be able to read and write this NAND now um, is to kind of follow that wiring diagram and get this guy hooked up to my Raspberry Pi Pico. So this is why I went ahead and set this up the way I did was because the Pico allows me to then slot these DuPont connectors on all at once and then I can connect the other side uh, where it's needed and then we can read the NAND on this console real quick. So there we go, that's it. That's the connectors. Um, I will actually be having some custom cables of just the right numbers and stuff set up for the Pico Flasher. Watch the website. And I do also have some Pico Flasher cases up there if you're interested in getting a little plastic case. I've got a resin printer and been cranking out some of these that are quite nice. I really enjoy them. So what we need to do is uh, just back the camera up slightly and we're going to provide standby power to the console, hook up the USB. So there goes standby power. Here goes the USB connection. And now in JRunner, uh, so we'll pop back over to the monitor here. So if we pull forward JRunner, you can see I've got my Pico Flasher logo all, all up here. And uh, we literally just hit Read NAN. And that is what a read looks like happening through the Pico Flasher. So you can see that it's actually pretty quick. Um, takes less time than a 16 megabyte NAND, something like a minute or something like that. Uh, but it does dump all 48 megabytes of the 4 gig NAND that are required. And it will do a second dump uh, based on the number of reads configuration that we have here. And we will have uh, two copies of our NAND. Now this console I've worked with previously, um, so you'll be able to see that the CPU key populates. Um, but if you want to see, there's the Pico Flasher blinking away while it is reading the NAND. And it is connected off of that 4 gig QSB that made it so that I didn't have to, as I was changing my wiring and testing, it's really nice to have those nice large pads to work off of rather than trying to mess with the 4 gig pads uh, directly again. So uh, again, these are both releases that are available on GitHub. Check out the video description. Um, give some love to Balika for doing the 4 gig support in the Pico Flasher. And uh, if you're interested in perhaps having one of these 4 gig QSBs, I do have a couple of them and would be willing to consider making up a whole run of them and offering them on the, on the store. Uh, if that would be something that you guys would find interesting. So drop me a comment and let me know. Um, as for the little teaser that I promised, um, speaking of the Pico Flasher and cable compatibility and stuff, here's just a little teaser. And that'll do it for today. So thanks so much. Uh, check out Geek Island Gaming uh, from Merlin Shaw. Uh, who helps run this awesome page, and it's got a lot of cool uh, products there. So thanks so much, and enjoy.